the secondary, and how do you think they responded? Um, you know, we were playing a lot of man coverage. They were taking some shots. Uh, you know, we cleaned it up uh, towards the second half. Um, but, you know, we started out a little bit slow, but the first drive we, we, we did pretty good. Came back same drive, they drove down the field. But um, I think we created pretty, pretty well as a defense. Did you see anything distinctly when, when they went after him that first drive, the second half? And uh, yeah, man, I just I just told him, you know, I, when, when you know balls are calling me, I don't like a lot of people talking to me. But you know, I just told him, you know, I know you're gonna bounce back. You're a great player, and uh, you sure did. You know, y'all saw, saw the results. <laughs> What'd you see on that play? Uh, I, I don't know. I was playing man, but I just turned around, saw him jump in front, <laughs> catch the ball, make a great catch. Uh, you know, he's super athletic and uh, you know, great player. So I'm glad we have him. <laughs> you played a lot as a freshman and uh, tonight, Marcel and Terry. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think you ever know. It's just, you know, they're great players, you know, and they, they stepped up in the spotlight. Uh, you know, it's hard to do that as a freshman. Uh, so, you know, I'm glad they made their plays when they came to them. And uh, we, we still got a lot of the ball to go. What did Coach Wright tell you all at halftime? Uh, not too much. It was just stay, stay positive. Uh, you know, he wasn't getting on something like that. Just to, you know, we got stepped up, you know, tackle a little bit better. And I uh, get off the field on third down. And uh, I think we did that in the second half. Where does this defense go from here? How can you guys obviously there's yeah. plenty of room to improve? Uh, plenty of room to improve. I think too many points given up, uh, too many passing touchdowns, especially from team on the road. And uh, you know, we got to just keep keep going up, keep elevating. Were you expecting them to use two quarterbacks that much tonight? Uh, yeah, I actually was. I knew the um, quarterback was a little bit banged up, so we had a plan for five and we had a plan for um, you know eleven as well. So yeah, I think we expected that. What's been said at halftime is that we just got to go back to being our defense. Um, we got to play more physical, get on the edges and rush, um, play our brand of football. In the second half, when Coach Arena started calling a little bit more blitz, how much pressure did that take off the defensive line as a whole? Uh, it took a lot of pressure off of us. Um, turned a lot of those double teams into single blocks where we could actually get a better rush and help our DBs out because he was just patting the ball back there and we were getting kind of frustrated with it. So we came in at halftime, made a couple adjustments. To have freshmen like Marcel and uh, Derek step up like they did, uh, what does that say about them to be able to kind of rear in the mm. We always account on young guys. We always want them to step up. Uh, they were just doing what they came here to do. Basically, that's what they got recruited to do. And all they did was just step up in a big game. So they're big time players. I mean, we we're going at it nine on seven, one on one run blocks. Um, team periods, we did a lot of best on best drills, and even towards Wednesday, I mean, it was getting real chippy in practice. I mean, that's just the attitude we had going to this week was, I mean, we got beat in the trenches last year in Gainesville, and so we weren't going to let history repeat itself. I mean, the defense got better you know, as the game was going on, but most people were getting tired. I mean, just from a mental standpoint, what was the, that third and fourth quarter like for you guys? Um, I think we really fed off the fans. I mean, you know, that first drive, they did some stuff they didn't do in the first half, so they made some adjustments. And then, I mean, other than that, I mean, we came to the sideline, made our adjustments, um, put in our play calls, put in our fits, and I think we, we handled it pretty well. Can you talk about um, just Derek Stingley's interception and how yeah. big that was to just swing momentum on your side? Yeah, game, game changer. I mean, the dude's a game changer. He makes plays every week. Um, helps when you can have a corner play man-to-man -man every play. Um, makes it easier on a defensive line standpoint, knowing that the quarterback's going to have to hold the ball for a split second because of a guy like Derek, you know, clamping up that wide receiver, that X receiver, or the guy to the, the open side. But um, such a big play in the game. I mean, we needed that. It, see how loud that stadium got tonight. Um, offense went, did their thing, and those are the kind of plays we need on defense. He was in a position, you know, he's probably never been in really. He mm -hmm. was in the corner and then he attacked him. You know, so yeah. much throughout the game. Yeah. I mean, what does it say about his mental toughness to make a play like that after, you know, kind of being picked on a little Yeah, bit. I mean, it's huge. I think what everybody sees out of Derek is – the reason he's playing so good, everybody forgets that he's just a true freshman. I mean, he's 18 years old. I mean, the guy's really one of the best players on defense. So, I mean, of course, everybody's going to hold him to a higher standard. And um, ultimately tonight, you know, this is SEC football. Other teams are going to throw blows. We're going to throw blows. And at the end of the day, Derek Stanley got the last blow. So what are those D-line checkers? Oh, uh, it was just an idea Neil Farrow had. He wanted to create an identity for the D-line. And, and so we got him custom made. and. That's just something that we thought as a D-line that we just needed a new identity.